Hi guys, in this video we're going to show you how to install the Cisco VPN client. Uh, I'm going to be doing this on a Windows 8 machine, but this video is equally suitable for anyone running Windows 7 or any earlier versions of Windows. The process is pretty much the same. I'm assuming that you've already got the Cisco VPN client. Your work has given you the file to install on your PC, or your university has told you to download it. So now you've got the file downloaded, what I would recommend is that you don't have it on a network drive. I've got it on my Google Drive at the moment, so just simply copy it onto your desktop. The reason for this is that during the installation of the VPN client, it does a lot of work on the network connection and possibly could cut you off and losing access to the files. So we've copied the file onto the desktop. And we're just going to double click that and unzip the files. Okay, we've got seven files here. Click yes to the user account control, and Windows will start to install the, the client. Click next, accept the license agreement. This is telling you where it's going to install the client. We'll just accept the default in the program files. Next again, it'll extract all the files. And it'll copy. And this is the part where it's copying the files where it was better if you had it installed on your desktop. If you are connected to the internet or anything while you're doing this installation, you will see that flicker just a little bit. I'm going to pause the video just for a second while this is installing and we'll pick it up again when we're nearly finished. Okay, that's finished installing now, so I need to click the finish button. Depending on your platform, it may ask you to do a reboot, but on this Windows 8, it doesn't appear to want that. So the client's installed now. Okay, and by default on Windows 8 it appears that it does not put a shortcut onto your desktop. So on the Windows 8 platform, we'll come here and we can see the VPN client has been put there. If I check the location, we've got the start menu. If you want a shortcut on your desktop, which in Windows 8 it's not really essential anymore, but we'll put one there. We can paste that shortcut onto the side. And now to connect to a network, you simply click on the VPN client. This starts up the Cisco VPN client, and you should have been provided by your work or your university or school, whoever you need to connect to, with the address of the VPN client to connect to, and a password, which is called a group secret. So we can click here in the new. You call your connection entry, your connection entry here. Work. The host is the IP address or the name of the VPN box that you're going to connect to. So you should have been provided with this, and it'll either be an IP address. So we're going to put in a fake one here, just one two dot three four dot five six dot seven eight, or this could be a a name. Maybe in your company it will be VPN dot company dot com something like that. For this example we'll just put a fake IP address. The name is the name of the VPN, whatever's been given to you. So this will be Office VPN. And the password is the group password which you'll be given. So we can put the password in here. And you save this connection. Oop, the passwords didn't match. Let's try that again. and you save that. And then you have an entry here which to connect to you just simply double click on and you'll see down this part it will say connect to the sewer gate gateway. This won't connect because obviously it's a fake address and a, a password but for your situation this should work absolutely fine and that's basically it how to install the Cisco VPN client onto Windows 8. 